Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So typically on my channel, I like to do anything having to do with homeschool. So um, if you're looking for a curriculum or just to see what's inside different curriculum books, I normally have a Becca um, and this year we are venturing out into different curriculums, which you see here. This is actually a not grass curriculum. This is for grades five through eight. Um, so this is the From Adam to Us. This is a history curriculum. And I just wanted to kind of take you through a walkthrough to show you what they have in their curriculum. I do want to apologize for the shadows that you do see. I am filming at night and my lighting is a little crazy. Okay, so starting off what they have here is a part one and a part two. So these are going to be the textbooks that your child will be looking through and working through for this year. Part one is creation to cathedrals and part two is castles to computer. The thing you're gonna see here is their timeline. This is a timeline that they will be working on and the lesson plans will be in this book here. The next thing we have here is the map book. So this is gonna be their mapping skills, basically. This is our answer key for us teachers, and this is where we will find all of our answers to the questions that they have in their textbooks. And in this book here, this is their lesson review. They do also have a um, more like a journal that you can get and I, I have heard that that is more aimed for the fifth and sixth grade years. So because my niece is going into seventh grade, we thought that this lesson review book would be a better fit for her. And then the next thing we have here is our creative world. These are stories, poems, documents, art, and architecture from world history. So this is something that they will use along with the text start here with part one creation and cathedrals okay so in this book you will notice we'll just start here this is the introduction for your student to read and then here is to the parent this is where it talks about how to use their curriculum now it says that from adam to us is a one-year world history and literature course designed for students in grades five through eight the daily lessons are written in a narrative style and richly illustrated with color photographs and maps. Primary sources, literature, and hands-on activities help the student connect the history in a personal way. With parent help and supervision, younger children can participate in many activities and can benefit from hearing the lessons read aloud. All of the instructions for what to do each week and each day are included in the main lesson text. The curriculum has 30 chronological units of five lessons each. Each weekly unit has one lesson from each of the five categories. Okay, so the categories that they're gonna be working on is Our World Story, God's Wonders, World Landmark, World Biography, and Daily Life. So this here is a breakdown of the basic curriculum package, what it comes with, and it's basically what I have already shown you. Let's see, this is the literature package. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different literature books, um, and it breaks down what units you will be using each book in. So up here at the top is the note for the parents on the literature selections. Um, this here just explains the optional resources, which is the student workbook or lesson review. Now that is what this is here. So the student workbook is more like a journal and this lesson review is more questions and answers. So we didn't get the student workbook, but we got the lesson review. 
Um, let's see here, how to use From Adam to Us Part 1 and Part 2. So these two volumes are the core of the curriculum. They give you and your child all the information you need in order to use From Adam to Us on a daily basis. These two volumes contain 15 units each for a total of 30 units. Your child can study Part 1 during the first half of the school year and Part 2 during the second half. Each unit has five lessons. Okay, so this is breaking down to you how you are going to use these two textbooks, basically. I don't know if I want to call them textbooks because they really are not. They are so beautiful. I just fell in love with them when I was looking at them online. Okay, so it says at the beginning of each unit, an introductory page gives a list of the lessons in that unit a reminder of the literature title that goes with that unit and a short introduction to that unit. The world map on this page has push pins with lesson numbers on them. These pins show the primary location or locations associated with each lesson. Following the introductory page are the daily lessons. Students can read these on their own or you can read the lessons aloud. Okay, so let's just move on because you guys don't want to hear all of that. At the end of each lesson, it'll have a reading assignment from our creative world. You'll have map book assignments, timeline book assignments, assignments in the student workbook, and the lesson review. Thinking biblically assignments, vocabulary assignments, creative writing assignments, and reading assignments. Okay, so depending on if you want to use this as a full curriculum, this will depend on what you're going to be using. For us, we will only be reading in the um, Our Creative World, the map book assignments, the timeline book, um, the lesson review book. She won't be doing the biblically assign thinking assignments, vocabulary, creative writing, or the reading assignments. Um, but that can be completely up to you guys. You can totally use it as a full rounded off curriculum if you would like. This just breaks down on how to use the creative world and literature, how to use the map book, how to use the timeline, how to use the student workbook and the lesson review book and then enjoying the weekly family activities. This is just a breakdown of how long it'll take to complete each lesson. So this is pretty important to most parents when they're looking at a curriculum. So it depends on how many assignments you choose to complete. So like we were talking about here where it has all of these assignments, we won't be doing all of them because we will have those in a different curriculum. Most students will need 45 minutes to an hour and a half to complete one lesson. Um, it'll take more time if you do the family activity. This curriculum has 150 lessons and is designed to be completed in one school year. Since the typical school year has about 180, the student complete one lesson on most days. However, some families may choose to spread the curriculum out over a longer period of time. So I really like this. Um, you can, for me, what we plan on doing is, because it has 150 lessons worth, we plan to take more time on each lesson or maybe something in here is really, really intriguing to my niece and she wants to dive deeper into it and kind of study more about it. And I've also looked on YouTube and found some cool um, videos that I'm going to have her watch while she does certain lessons. Um, so it just really depends, but I like how they give you that, that's, that leeway in there to add stuff to it. Um, it breaks down what you're going to need as supplies. How many assignments should my student complete? Expanding from Adam to us to make your homeschool experience easier. Helping struggling students. And some reminders so you will not feel overwhelmed. Acknowledgements and dedications for this book. Um, now this is a Christian based curriculum. Obviously um, you see that it's already talking about God. And um, I believe it's a family owned business. Starting off here is in the beginning. So here starting off, this is gonna be unit one. So this is the first week of history. And you'll see here in the blue that it tells the breakdown of the five different lessons for the week. Um, so our world story, the first week of history, world biography, our father God who is in heaven, world landmark, the garden of Eden, daily life, the first people on earth, God's wonder, the amazing world God made. So what they're going to do is they're going to read through this. Look at just how beautiful these illustrations are. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys the first lesson here. So ending lesson one, assignments for lesson one. Okay, so it says that they recommend using a three ring binder to create a From Adam to Us notebook to store your thinking biblically, vocabulary, and creative writing assignments. So again, we won't use that, but if you are planning to use this for those subjects, then that would be smart to have. Um, so it tells exactly what your student needs. So our creative world, this is our creative world. And it says, read of the Father's love begotten on pages one and two. So I'm gonna open it up to one and two. Here's the table of contents, I'll just show you that now. And then here is page one. So they're gonna read through this and they're gonna read through this, okay? So that'll be with lesson one. And then they're gonna take out their timeline book. So here's their timeline. And it says in the box for lesson one on page one, write God creates the heavens and the earth. So they're gonna go to page one. And in box one, that's what they're gonna write. God creates the heavens and the earth right here, okay? Now, student workbook or lesson review. Okay, so if you are using one of these optional books, complete the assignment for lesson one. So in their lesson review, they're going to be working on lesson one, so it's five questions. Um, so one of the questions is, how does Genesis one, one through two, describe the earth in the beginning? And then what you're gonna do, obviously when they're done answering that, you're gonna pull out your answer key. And at the beginning here, you're gonna see lesson assignments, you're gonna see vocabulary and thinking biblically. So you're gonna pass through this because this is for the vocabulary portion. Um, let's see here, here's the vocabulary list that they'll be working on. Here is the lesson review. So the lesson review is this booklet here. And here is lesson one and all of the answers that they need to have. Now, if you don't get the lesson review booklet, they do also have the answer key in here for the student workbook. So here is all of the answers for that as well. Also, they do have tests in the lesson review book. And those will be, so there's 150 lessons. So 150, that'll be the last question um, there, the last set of questions. Here is unit one test. So once they're done with the five lessons, it'll probably say in the assignments, which let's check to make sure before I tell you guys something wrong. Um, let's see here, this is lesson four. Lesson five, look at these beautiful pictures, you guys. Like, come on, so pretty. So here you're gonna see the student workbook and lesson review. If you are using one of these optional books, complete the assignment for lesson five and take the test for unit one. So here is the unit one test. Okay, so you'll see at the end of each unit, they're gonna have a test. It looks like they put that. Oh, okay. So you're also going to notice that there are going to be um, questions about the books that they're going to be reading if they are doing the literature. So if you're not, just have your child skip that portion of it. But these are going to be all of the unit tests. Okay, so that's in the back of the lesson review. And then you would find all of your answers in this booklet here. I also wanted to show you, because I am going to do a flip through of this book, all of the books actually, if you'd like to see, um, but I wanted to show you one other thing. So I went to Knotgrass's website and they had these additional resources under each curriculum and I printed out the lesson assignment checklist and this would be for my sister. So I'm gonna turn this into like a teacher key for her. Um, not a teacher key, I'm sorry, like a teacher daily lesson plan. And this is exactly what is in the book for your child. So you can have it in front of you and your child could have it in front of them. 
Um, so it goes all the way up to lesson 150. So I printed that out for her. And then I was looking through the curriculum and I was thinking, cause we are gonna do read alouds in the morning time with the kids. And so I printed out, I know I cut off the top here, um, but I printed this out from online. So when we're on the lesson about China and the Great Wall, I think it's the Great Wall that we're gonna be working through if I'm correct. Um, I printed this out so if we're reading something, a read aloud or anything that goes along with this, she could be coloring this as we do it or even if we're reading something else, she could still color this and it'll kind of coincide with what she's learning. And then I printed out this from online and I'm gonna have her do it on lesson 10. It's just taking the letters from um, like the Roman letters or the Greek letters and having her write out her name with it. Um, now these are additional things that you can print out from their website. This is gonna be for her unit 26. It's actually a part of their curriculum. And then this is unit 27. They are some game cards. So I printed those out so my sister didn't have to worry about gathering stuff last minute. Um, here's some more game cards for lesson 22. Um, let's see here, what else is in here? Unit 16, a family activity, it's a caravan. This is part of it and more. I have no idea what they are doing with these, you guys, but I don't know what that's for. They're little smiley faces but it's part of it, so. Um, here's unit five, it's another family activity. This goes along with it. These aren't in any order either. I should probably put them in order for her. So this is for unit seven, and this is a script that they're gonna be reading through um, as a family. So I thought that that was kind of cool. I really love how they incorporate the whole family in this. Like it said at the beginning, if you have younger kids and while you're doing activities, you can always have your child do it with you or with you guys. This is like a correction sheet. Basically it's a typo that they've done in the book and they're letting you know what the typo is so you can fix it while you're discussing it with your kids. So I really like this because it gives you the, the corrections, you know, their typos. So they do have that as well. So you're not teaching your kiddo the wrong thing. Um, and then that is it for the add-on type things that I printed out for her. Um, let's see here. So this will go along with it for her. The back of the book here has family activities. So this is worldwide dinner, a really big boat, family artifacts album, Sticky Bricks, Stonehenge, Carthaginian Trader's Game, an album of prophets, Aesop has the fox to tea, Spices of the World, Life of Jesus Timeline, Roman Mosaic, Family Story Obelisk, um, Silk Road Traders Bread. Maya Relief Carvings. Northern Lights in Iceland. A Priceless Collection of Chinese Porcelain. And then Credits. So I wanted to show you guys the map book. It didn't show in the first lesson, so let me just show you a little bit about this. Um, so here you will see lesson five is where it starts and it'll walk you through what you need to do. So this is map one. Oh, can you see it? Nope, there you go, sorry. Okay, so this is map one, the world, and this is for lesson five. And it'll walk you through what you need to do on this map here. See map one, the world. So for instance, God created seven major masses of land on earth called continents, color Africa purple, color Asia green, color Australia blue. Um, so they go through the different continents. So this is what some of it looks like. Show you guys a little bit in our creative world.
of the history through Knotgrass from Adam to us. I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe, the like, and the notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime I have a new upload. Thanks again, guys. Be blessed always.